Hello everyone. Let's continue building our digital clock. In this section, we will create a layout of the clock. So I looked here at uh, several uh, pictures in Google Images, and uh, I made um, this. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to make it. But why did I make it? Okay, so this is made out of the components we will use in the real clock in Excel. Okay. This, these components and um, we will these are all objects these are all you see drawing objects let's undo and if we take this back to Excel and use proper proper naming we can uh, create a simple relatively simple macro I mean uh, the macro might have quite a few lines because there's a lot of components but it's very simple we can make a, a macro that will uh, analyze and detect the relative spaces of all these components the relative positions of the, these components with, the, with respect to the box and also the sizes of the components and also the size of the box and every time we run the timing macro, the time uh, measuring macro, before the clock starts running, when we click run, before that, there will be an initialization phase. And in the in initialization phase, the dimension we extracted with this detection, with this analyzing macro, will be used to reconstruct the clock because maybe you know when we open the sheet or playing around with a cursor we, we might have moved or stretched something so every time the clock will be renewed and brought into a pristine state before running the time it will take a fraction of a second maybe milliseconds but uh, it's good to have this another thing I want to add later is some buttons here to set uh, the size of this clock. So if we click say plus, the, the clock will increase in size and everything will increase proportionally or decrease in size, again, decrease proportionally, all the elements will decrease or increase by a certain ratio. When we click that button, one of the buttons plus or minus, and also the dimensions, the relative coordinates with respect to the box will scale with the same factor. So this being said, let's proceed to build this uh, layout. But before that, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, if you like this, give me a like or a comment. I would appreciate. So let's go back to Excel and uh, copy this. Okay. So copy, come here in uh, PowerPoint, I open a black blank uh, slide and paste it. Okay. And we can go and reduce this the size. Make it uh, kind of like a clock. Okay. I think we need about that much. We can go here at uh, line. Make it skinnier. Also, if you remember, we did, let me see, let's grab this one, okay, control C, and go back here, and paste it. And I want to show you something, okay, let's copy this, con con control C, control V, okay. So, when we paste a picture a picture like this on a marker or we move we move the picture around using VBA and again so either we put it in a chart or we move it as a free shape the there is a corner here where everything is referenced in case that you paste it on a marker in a chart always the reference is the middle of the picture but when you do this, 
when you are outside and use free shape so use this as a free form and use VBA to move it this is the reference this upper left corner and if you have let's say you have an 8 let's delete the background okay so um, group ungroup delete the background and regroup let's delete this and copy this okay so if if this is an 8 and this is a 1 let's say okay group regroup when we handle the shape using VBA the corner of this will be right here whereas the corner of this will be here so if we put them next to each other you know say say go from an 8 to a 1 the 1 won't be displayed here it will be displayed here so that's why we put we added a rectangle and relative to the rectangle each number each digit being a 0 or a 1 or a 7 or a 9 with respect to this rectangle the digit elements are all in the proper position so when we shuffle like a card deck when we shuffle through the digits everything fall in falls in place because of this rectangle okay because the rectangle is always in the same position and uh, then we position the digit inside the rectangle properly but since in this particular case we only have this 8 except in some cases we make uh, we change the transparency of certain elements we don't need that rectangle okay so let's put this in right here and I would like to make it a little bit smaller maybe oh, go here and say lock aspect ratio and now we can move it we can resize it without fear so let's copy this and place it that's probably right for now let's go to fill and change uh, let's make it a little bit darker this is good so what we do we zoom in place them on top of each other and make sure they are finely positioned vertically then we space them probably this much let's look here uh, that's about right maybe less than half a third one third of the width of the digit so that's about right and uh, now we can do this, the following control C control V so these are the hours and now we create the minutes and you see they are perfectly aligned and I hold the right arrow key and move them it's a little bit too far probably this is the right dimension here the right spacing between the groups so these are the hours and these are the minutes let's look at the picture again uh, that's about right that's good and now copy this control C control V let's uh, again use the arrow keys to finally move so move them these will be the seconds and another thing I want to do I want to make the seconds a little bit smaller 
So they they're not so obvious. They give a little bit of um, how do you say variation in the landscape in this clock landscape. Also, I would like to center them right here. So these are the seconds. Another thing I want to do is insert shapes. Let's create this and use it as a as a ruler, okay? So this is about right. Now here, I will leave it a little bit of distance because eventually, actually this is a little bit too much. Maybe this much. Yes. And here, same thing. That's about right. Yeah. Let's also create those two dots that uh, blink, okay? So if we look here, you see these two dots. So let's uh, generate those. If we go to insert, shapes, and circle. And let's make them uh, dimension here, 0 0.2, and here 0.2. Fill, solid fill, green, and solid line, black, and zero, okay? That's what we have here. If you look here, you see solid line, zero point, and black, so that's why. Try to center this as much as we can vertically and horizontally. Control C, Control V. Okay. And select both of them, group. And I would like to add uh, two more elements here. Let me see. Um, yes, I would like to add this AM and Monday. So essentially what I did here, I took a insert shapes. Takes a long time and draw something and type mon, let's say Monday, okay? And if we go to home, let's, let's make this um, probably 36 is good. And use the arrow keys. That's probably right. I would like to put um, no fill here and no line. And also the color 
of this day of the week so Monday in this case which will be will change of course Monday Tuesday Wednesday etc so let's make it green and also let's uh, set it bold so control C here and make sure we overlap it vertically perfectly from the from from a vertical point of view okay it's hard to tell exactly but now is at the same level with the same size letters and we move it here right here and center it as much as we can call this AM so this will change from AM to PM and so on and so forth so we have this and uh, so you see we had this before and we created this in a relatively short time let's decrease a little bit the height and another thing I would like to do hmm, this is maybe a little bit too big actually you know what let's leave it like this for now so I created this before before the talk and now we created this together and this will be imported all these object all these uh, bunch of objects will be imported in Excel and we will write a simple a relatively simple VBA routine a macro to analyze and to extract the dimensions of all these elements and the distances the relative dif distances between them so this being said please subscribe and uh, if you liked it give me a like or a or a comment okay and i will see you in the next uh, section thank you